culture surprise story of the late 90s. And with 35 million people watching them on TV each week, wrestlers are now some of the most famous people in the world. But who are they really? I mean, I don't think people realize what it is that we actually do. On this edition of True Life, we'll find out. We'll go behind the scenes with the first couple of the WWF, Triple H, and China. It's here in the Rupp Arena. I guarantee you, China. For me, there's no better feeling in the world. This place is completely sold out. Every son of a bitch in here was on his feet and never sat down once. That's what it's about for us, for the two of us, is to go out there and do that to these people. That, that's the shot for us, you know what I mean? That's what we got to have. Everybody wishes that they had a job that they'd love to wake up to in the morning. And I do, I love waking up to my job. I love what I do. I love being a celebrity. Oh, what happened to Steve? My goal at this point is to be the WWF champion, and uh, that means that you're the best in this business. It means that you're the you're the man. Um. Who do you want this to? Uh, to Bradley and Jessica. I don't think people realize what it is that we actually do. The part that we're in the ring is not really where the work is. The work is traveling 250 days out of the year, trying to keep your body in shape, you know, trying to deal with life outside the ring. It's a lot of work. We do this all the time, and it's something we do 24-7. It's not just your work anymore. Go to Toronto, work the Sky Dome, back to Buffalo, good night's rest, have a pay-per-view in Buffalo, right. and from there we go to Cleveland. This is Triple H from the World Wrestling Federation. That's beautiful. You go out and you do it, and then you come back in the locker room, and it's like, ah, man, that was great. Okay. Beautiful. Sometimes you come back and you go, God damn, that was great. And five minutes after your adrenaline shuts down, you can't stand up. Beautiful. 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 Yes! Beautiful, baby. Every single night, it's a different city. And every single night, every ass in those seats expects they want the absolute best. They couldn't give a crap less what you were the night before or what you did at the pay-per-view. It doesn't matter. You got to be on. You got to be ready and you got to be on. It's a lot of preparation, and I think a lot of it is just mental preparation. And here comes China, Triple H, and Mr. Ass. Oh, what the hell? The Rock is coming out here. What are they doing? Well, maybe The Rock is going to be the, the third man with Team DX here. It's the accentuation. I mean, I could stand here and punch you and nobody looks right but if I lean my body all the way back and roll my body through it then the punch looks that more devastating it's all in my body language or my facial expressions that I'm cranking on and China interrupted the count there not again Taylor again that should be all right there this place is electrified the ropes are an education all in themselves yes the ropes can bite you. One, two, yes, it's over. You smell what the rock is cooking. Here are your winners, X-Pac, the Root Dog, Jesse James, and the Root. I smell it, but I don't like it. I'm the best. In three years, we spent more time together than most people that are married. We wake up, we go eat, we go work out, we go to the building, we do our show. Everywhere we go, we're together. We don't get a chance to go to very romantic dinners or go on a vacation. We're together, but we're together in the business. We don't 
we do a different TV show every week where one week we're playing a doctor and another week we're playing a secret agent. We are a hunter in China. When we leave the ring, we're still a hunter in China. Physically, we look the same. We can't hide. Can I get another one? Person. We're hunter in China 24 hours a day. People view us as that. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. You're welcome. So if he's all on TV, when we uh, go out to eat at 1 o'clock in the morning, every drunk person in the world still considers him people. And, you know, it's, exactly, it makes it very difficult. You cannot separate yourself from the character on TV. If you were going to become a large star in this business, you, in a lot of ways, give up your life. You trade in your normal, everyday life, your normal personality to be in this business. It's an it's a exchange you make because when you become a big star forever from then on, you are going to be, to a large percentage of this world, that person. Um, and, and even to yourself in a lot of ways. Uh, when your career is over, it's very difficult to walk away from that, to change what you've been for years and years and years. Look out! Right in the spine! Oh, this is bad! So thanks to Austin and the Rock! Good night. Good night. I go to the second street, which is Pine Street, and I make a left. Right. Then I go to the traffic light and I turn right onto Manchester Street. Right. Okay. Okay, did I just miss the damn road now? What are you looking no. for? Which road are you looking for? Um, Pine Street. Okay. And I think I... Willard Street and Perry Street. I think I passed it. It's confusing how they wrote this. I keep thinking I'm looking for 2nd Street, but I'm actually looking for Pine Street, which was the 2nd okay. Street. Thank you, sir, very much. Sure. What's your name? Yeah. It's, it's very difficult to have a normal life outside of our business. Thank you, boss. Sir. All right. You know, when you go home, you, you tend to not have a lot of friends. You lose contact with a lot of people because you're on the road so much. You know it's late when you're the only one at the airport. In the last three years, for me, the, like, the blink of an eye, and I, uh, I just worry sometimes so that I dedicate everything to this job and that maybe feeling inside of you that you know that you were meant to do this. If you got the dream, I and mean, then once it's in you, it's, just, it's, it's hard to say no. Anybody out there that's trying to do it, it's damn sweet when you get there, so keep trying. Ready? Ready, let's go.
I brought up China. Yeah. Uh, man, she had a hell of a run here. Absolutely. Will she ever go into the Hall of Fame? You know, it's it's one of the, that's one of those questions. Does she deserve to go in the Hall of Fame? Absolutely. Um, well, so what do you mean it's one of those questions? Well, it gets asked a lot. Yeah. It's um, I thought it meant like a like a double sided edge. It, well, it is a little bit of a double side. So, you have a it's it's not just as easy as should this person go in the Hall of Fame, right? Completely one hundred percent transcended the business, changed the business, paradigm shifter of the business, right? Um, did what no woman ever did before, um, and was awesome at it, and a and a phenomenal talent. Um, all the other stuff that happened happened, and, and I don't need to get into any of the other stuff, right? But there is no beef on this side with anything, and right. I and I mean that 100. percent And from a from a career standpoint, should she be in the Hall of Fame? Absolutely. Bit difficult though, and this is the flip side of the coin that nobody looks at. You have a, I, I got a eight year old kid. And my eight-year-old kid sees the Hall of Fame, and my eight-year-old kid goes on the uh, internet to to look at. Uh, oh, it's China. I, I never heard of her. I'm eight years old. I've never heard of that. So I go type that in, and I punch it up, and what comes up? And I'm not criticizing any anybody. I'm not criticizing lifestyle choices. Everybody has their reasons. I don't know what they were, and I don't care to know. And that's I'm not. It's not a morality thing or anything else. It is just the fact of what it is. That's a difficult choice. Right. The Hall of Fame is a funny thing in that it is not as simple as this guy had a really good career, a legendary career. He should go in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, but we can't because of this reason. Right. We can't because of this legal instance. We can't because of this. We, clearly, you can't. You call the guy up and say, we'd like to put you in the Hall of Fame. He goes, yeah, no. Uh, okay, all right. But I have something to say. First of all, Hunter or Triple H or whatever you choose to call yourself, Paul Levesque, whatever name you're using right now, Puffy. <laughs> um, you're an you're an asshole, and. How dare you, after, like, 15 years, take a stab at me? I mean, like, what kind of person does that? What is your problem? Because you think you make more money off of me dead than alive, but you know what? It's not happening, so, um, you better, like, rearrange your, like, situation right now, because I'm coming after you now. It's not the other way around. Goodbye, Felicia. And by the way, I'm not scared of you. You're an abuser and you're like a loser. I'm saying that publicly. You're a brown noser, and you're sucking up to Stephanie, who is a bitch. Total bitch. And yes, I'm a Mormon. But, I'm, but, but those things are true. You can have billions of dollars in the world. Okay, we have billions of dollars, and... They don't treat people like that. So now you're going to get yours. I hope you're like miserable.